Now we've added an army of soldiers next to the witch. You can see that they're in a line and walking over to the wall. This line of soldiers should help you remember that HIV has a linear RNA genome. Now you can see that we've shown a mirror on the wall. The witch frequently asks the mirror, who is the fairest in all the land? To which the mirror usually responds that she is. However, recently, she learned that she is no longer the fairest of them all, and that there is a new beautiful princess who is prettier than she is. Now she's pretty envious and upset, so she sent her army into the magical mirror, which teleports them to the castle of this beautiful princess. You can see that her army is swarming the place in search of this new beautiful princess. Anyway, a mirror normally creates a reflection of an existing image, so you could say that it creates a copy of whatever it's looking at. Therefore, the mirror should help you remember that HIV has a diploid genome, or two copies of RNA. Now we've added several more characters to the scene inside of the witch's prison cell. Let's zoom up so you can see this better. Notice that the witch's soldiers have trapped this dwarf and his wife. Now they're torturing him in an attempt to get him to tell them where this new beautiful princess is. If you look closely at his hand, you can see that the dwarf is holding a cone with some ice cream that he was eating before he was captured. Anyway, the cone is here to help you remember that HIV has a cone-shaped capsid. The fact that he is getting gagged by a soldier should make you think of the gag gene. If you look closely at his other hand, you can see that he's holding a sundial, which measures 24 hours in a day. This should help you think of P24, which is another name for the proteins that form the cone-shaped capsid. So, dwarf getting gagged with a cone and a sundial for gag gene, cone-shaped capsid, and P24. The gag gene also encodes for the proteins that form the matrix, and these are known as P17. To help you remember this, we've shown a wizard that's casting a spell on these soldiers in an attempt to protect this poor dwarf. You can see him lifting up his wand and casting a complicated spell with many numbers, most of which are the number 17. All of the numbers shown this way look kind of like the Matrix from the Matrix movie. So, the wizard casting a Matrix spell should make you think of the Matrix. The number 17 should help you remember P17, and the gagging dwarf should help you remember the gag gene. So all these ideas together should help you remember that the gag gene encodes for the Matrix, which is formed by proteins known as P17. If we return to this image, you can see that GAG encodes for P24 and P17. P24 are the capsid proteins that form the cone-shaped capsid, and P17 are the matrix proteins that form the matrix.